new software in it, we kind of simplified some of the interface. So now, if you want to bring a map, you just have to double click. Now you can hit map and it just instantly brings up the map. Double clicking takes it away, but if you hit map, you want to change it, now the map's on it. Then the dual concentric knob. So the middle, the smaller knob does the zooming. The outer one gives you all your choices like map, sectional, low, and IFR high. If you hit this double click, it takes it away. Same with the engine now. So if you're flying along and you're a full map, like on this screen, if you hit EFIS, it instantly comes up. So that's kind of a quicker, easier way to do it. The menus are still there once you push it again. Um, you've also got the hamburger icon. You can change them to here, sectionals. So we'll go ahead and two-finger swipe it off. So we've also changed how the uh, radio interface works. So notice this is the radio. COM1 is up. If I touch the middle, now we're looking at COM2. Let's go back to COM1. We're on OR40. It is green because it's active. It's one we're actually transmitting on. If COM2, it's white because it's not selected. If we actually switched over to transmit on COM2, it is now green. And notice COM1 is white. So we'll go back. It'll change to green because it's the active COM. So it's easier to see that. The other thing we notice is, especially when you're um, getting flight following or you get different frequencies all the time, you used to have to actually touch this box to bring up the frequencies. An easier way, the middle of the knob, so the small knob now, if you push in, it actually is the frequency. So you can type it in here, you can use the numbers down below to enter a frequency, or what's really convenient, if they give you different frequencies, like say they give you um, 1225, you can just use the inner and outer knob to actually adjust it. And turbulence, it's really handy. And then pushing in on it actually flip-flops the frequency. So it's much quicker. Um, all of our normal things work. So you could hit Unicom. You could hit nearest airports. So there's UAO. If we wanted to get ATIS there, we could hit ATIS. Um, use the knob to flip-flop or touch that. So now we're getting ATIS there. We'll go back. Two fingers swipes this off or the red X or return. So that's pretty handy for that. But bringing up the radio using the knob is, is much more convenient. So notice the dual concentric knob here also, the middle one zooms. Since we don't have a map up, it's actually zooming the, the remote screen. I'll show you how convenient this is. So let's say all of a sudden we need to talk to Portland Approach. We could touch here to bring up the radio or just push in on the knob. We know it's 1260, so I'm going to type megahertz. 126. Then we'll crank her back to zero. Good. Push in on the knob. Now we're listening to Portland Approach. Approach 124.35. So now, let's say we want to listen to Aurora. United 477, contact Portland final one two. We'll go ahead and push in on the knob, bring up the radio. Let's listen to ATIS on our second COM radio. So I'm going to go ahead and hit COM2, and I'm going to put ATIS. Now I put it into COM2. Then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to monitor COM2 to get the ATIS. Aurora State Airport, Aurora, So let's Oregon. go ahead. Notice we're on COM2. So I'm going to put COM1. I'm going to put tower into there. Wind three, five, zero, so we put zero, tower into COM1. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, one, niner, Celsius. Dew point, zero, eight, Celsius. Altimeter, two, niner, niner, four. So let's go ahead and help Barrow. Density altitude, Notice it said Barrow set to KUAO. Right. So we're on COM1. Tom one is now green, which is one two six zero. So we want to roar a tower. Uh, there it is. We could touch that now. If it's turbulent, that's where it gets hard. That's where this is really handy. Bring it up, swap it, swap over a tower, back. So let's say we wanted to see the map right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the new software. Hit map. Now notice the knob is actually controlling this one. The inner, the outer, I mean the larger one actually, we could bring up a sectional, approach plate, airport diagram. And if we swipe it off, this then controls that screen. So we say we want to change to a sectional, I'm going to hit the hamburger icon, I'm going to hit sectional. Go back. Say we were flying along, then we want an EFIS, you can just one button. 
pushing it again shows you all the different functions. So it's got off, emergency, all that different thing, sound on and off. If we hit direct two, notice that as Unicom, if I push Unicom, it automatically loads it into the backup frequency. Typical pattern altitude, it loaded it into the altitude bug. We're 8.1 miles. If we'd actually had METAR data, it would have told us the best runway using wind data. Notice it is green. If we were on the wrong comm, we were, there's Aurora ATIS. If we wanted to get Aurora just to listen, since we're close to Aurora, we could push here. Aurora, we could hit tower, hit the button to transfer. Now, COM2, which we're listening to, is Aurora Tower. Notice it's white because we're not transmitting. I switch back to COM1 and it actually shows in green because that's the active frequency. If we want to quit listening to Aurora Tower, we just touch this button. We can also then bring up the whole audio panel interface if we wanted. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a flight plan. We'll bring up the flight plan. Notice it came in. If I use the small part of the knob, I go to runway. I'm going to select. We're going to land on 3-4 tonight. So once I select it, I can also put in a glide slope. Notice it draws a lead-in arrow. Green dots on the AOA. Two hundred. Okay, speed looks good. Notice the green flight path markers right on the end of the runway. One hundred. Angle, angle, push. Angle, angle, push. Logbook. Notice it recorded the flight. It was OR40 to OR40. Date, how many hours, one landing. You can scroll through every single one of the flights recently and look at them here.